Hi, it's Andy again, and I'm going to do another tutorial today, and this one's going to be an exploding list view. Uh, the, per recommendation on my uh, trailer video, uh, one of my followers had asked me to do an example of a, an exploding list view. So I did one, uh, and it's not very pretty, but it's functional and it works, and it doesn't have any kind of animation, but you can add that in if you want to make it look a little bit prettier. So what I did is um, we have basically just a list view and we have a, in each row we're going to have two text views. So one uh, that's going to be always visible and then the, this one where the visibility is going to be gone. So it doesn't really matter what goes here. I was just using these as uh, samples to see how it would look uh, in this view. As you can see, the first one's visible and the second one's gone. Um, that's what we want to keep as the default. And so those are those, that's the XML layouts. They're just wrapping the content and there's nothing uh, really special about them. So then I'm going to go over the list adapter since that's what we're going to actually use uh, to, this is actually very important for this, is we have our context ID uh, and then we have two strings because each one is going to have a separate uh, list of items. So we have two strings here. So we have list one, list two. And I, I kept these, these names have to be consistent with the ones that are in your activity or in your class. If you use it, it doesn't really matter where you put this uh, string, these strings, but as long as they're consistent with the name in your adapter. So we'll keep these uh, list items and list items too. Okay, and then here's our uh, our the mean potatoes. So we're gonna say that this list items for this one, the text that we're gonna put in it is uh, right here is list. So we're basically identifying this list with that text view, and then this list with this other text view. And uh, this is also important since we're using um, string objects like this, we're, we need to get the position. So um, it changes. So item one, item two, item three will be uh, in, our, in order. And then the second list is going to go with that same position. So we're going to have um, these item one text, item two text, item three text is all going to go together. So that's the, that's the uh, list adapter. And there's not really much to it. It's actually pretty easy. So the next thing we're going to do is do our activity. We have our two strings. It doesn't really matter what you put here. I just did 10 items of each uh, so that you can see it in the, in the, in the tutorial. We have our onCreate, on since we're doing this in the list activity. This would all work in the list fragment as well if you wanted to do a, uh, a list fragment. Um, we're going to set the content view to our regular list view and then set the adapter to our custom adapter. Uh, we're going to set the layout to the list row so that it uses that other XML file right here for each, each row. And then uh, since our list adapter costs two different strings, we put them here. List items one, list items two. Okay, and then here's how, how this works is we're going to get the, on the, whenever we click on the list, it's going to make that visibility visible. So we have to address the, we have to call that text view and we're going to say, oh, and this is very important right here. This view, if you don't add this part, it's only going to put the first item. So you have to get the view. So this is a very important step right here as this sets the specific line that you're clicking on. It sets that associated text view to visible. and not visible. So when we click on it, what we're going to do is if the visibility is visible, we're going to hide it. If not, we're going to make it visible. So the way that it works out is when we run the program, we have each item it has your item one, item one, uh, item one text, item one text, item six, item six text. So each one, uh, is associated with each uh, list item. When we click it again, it hides them. So this is a really easy way to do an expanding, uh, exploding list view. Uh, so hope this tutorial helps you out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Alrighty.